Even in a recession, there are certain industries that continue making really good money. Take for example, collection agencies. Their job is to collect on past due invoices and debt of all sorts of companies. Back in 2017, Avi Grunwald was one entrepreneur who decided to start a debt collection company called Fair Capital without any prior knowledge of the industry. Today, Avi's company works with more than 600 companies that bring in more than $80,000 per month in total revenue. In today's business case study, I wanna break down what you're gonna to need to start a debt collection service of your own, how to find customers, and finally, of course, how to get paid. Let's get into it. Now, to give you some perspective on how big the debt collection industry actually is, an estimated 28% of the United States population has some type of debt in collections right now. According to Consumer Reports, 43 million Americans are contacted by debt collection agencies just for medical debt alone. And of course, there's a massive industry built around this because of these massive obligations. In case you're not familiar, here's how debt collection companies typically work. Imagine there's an ABX telephone company out there with 1,000 accounts, more than six months overdue on their bill. Of course, the company already tried getting paid on this debt through all the normal ways, sending out email reminders, mailing letters, sending text messages, making courtesy calls, etc. But at this point, the ABX telephone company might give up on trying to collect any of that money and think it's a lost cause. This is where a debt collection agency can come in. From the perspective of the telephone company, getting a little bit of money from these past two customers is gonna be a whole lot better than not getting any payments at all. As a result, the ABX telephone company decides to work with a collection agency to do the work of calling, mailing people, and basically just bugging the heck out of people until they pay their bills. Now, according to Avi, these are the two most common ways that a debt collection company gets paid. The first is called contingency-based model. This means that you only are gonna get paid when you successfully collect on the debt, and it's the approach that Fair Capital uses to build their business. Now, the average debt collection fee is between 20% to 40% of the debt owed. This means you'll get 20 to 40 bucks for every hundred dollars you're able to collect for another company. To use another example, if you were able to get connected with a landscaping company though, where outstanding bills might range from $1,000 to $10,000, you can really see how this business model would be quite lucrative if you're able to scale the business and take on a lot of clients. Now, the second way debt collection agencies get paid is through a flat rate fee. This just means that you're gonna negotiate how much you get paid with another company to collect payments. This allows you to get paid regardless of the number of accounts that you're able to convert into payments and is a pretty straightforward way to run a business. Here's the approach Fair Debt used to collect on their debt. So Avi has pointed out that in an interview that many businesses, you know, they're reluctant to hire debt collection agencies because of their bad reputation, businesses understandably don't wanna make their customers angry by reporting them to debt collection agencies where they're potentially gonna be treated really poorly, get hassled, et cetera. To combat this negative perception, Avi likes to position his company more like a mediator that helps bridge the gap between creditors and debtors. And here's the basic approach Avi's business uses to collect this debt. The debt collection process typically begins with some sort of a soft start. This might include flight letters, phone calls, followed by mild or mid-level debt collection tactics, and then escalates into the intensive collection unit if necessary from there. By dividing their practice into these three different categories, it ensures that every debtor has a fair chance of paying off the account without the need for escalation, while also providing the highest possible recovery for the creditors themselves. I'm sad to admit I've been on the receiving end of many of these debt collection tactics in my 20s. I would regularly get these letters from debt collection companies, a few of them a week. Most of them were for my student loans. Most of these letters would also instruct me that I needed to pay a bill by a certain date. Of course, I would also get phone calls too. There was a two or three year time period where I'd never answer my phone from any unknown number. The fact is I knew it was probably a debt collector or a robocall reminding me that I had an overdue debt somewhere. I am happy to report though that uh, there is a happy 
ending to all of this for me and I was able to eventually pay off all my student loans, my car payments, my credit cards, etc. But as a target of collections in the past, I can tell you it's not fun being contacted by these companies multiple times per week to pay on past debts, especially when you don't have the money to pay it. But here's how Avi found customers for his debt collection agency. Avi got started in debt collection by offering services on the cheap to his friends and family members with businesses already. This approach got the ball rolling with word of mouth advertising. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Avi says referrals are the best and easiest path to finding these new customers. And if you're able to make one client money, a business owner will be more than happy to pass your name on to other friends and family members who own businesses. And then you can start growing from there. Avi has also run his ads on Google search to target people searching for debt collection services. Avi also has had success finding new customers, reaching out to different businesses on LinkedIn to find new clients. If I was starting this business from scratch, I'd try cold emailing local businesses as well to see if they need collection services. I'd try service companies, chiropractors, manufacturing companies, landscaping companies, dentists, or literally any other type of business that could have a big list of overdue clients. Here's an important thing to keep in mind before you start this business though. Keep in mind that debt collection is a highly regulated industry. There are laws that make it illegal for debt collectors to use abusive, unfair, or deceptive practices when collecting on debt. Ensure you'll need to educate yourself and any future employees how to collect debt legally. This includes not calling debtors in the middle of the night or more than seven times per week among all sorts of other laws. Check out some of the articles from the FTC listed in the description below about debt collection practices. Another point that Avi recommends is developing a standard collections process. This collections process can include letters you send to past due customers, phone calls, scripts for negotiating with individuals. Avi describes mailing thousands of letters himself in the early days of the business. So expect to be a little scrappy in the early days when you get started too. And remember, most debt collection companies only make money when payments are collected directly from overdue clients. So the early days can be tough as you wait for those collection efforts to start paying off. But the reality is in a debt-based society like the one that we live in, there will always be a need for collection agencies. Is this a business idea you'd like to pursue further? I think one of the best ways to start learning this industry would be to get a job in it first. A lot of companies even have their own in-house collection teams. So this can be a great way to kind of learn the ropes and learn the details of this business model while you get paid for a college education in making people pay. For more real business ideas that include revenue numbers like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the channel for updates. And let's continue the discussion in the comments section below. Let me know what you think about the collection agency business opportunity and we'll see you next time.